this lecture we will learn about sliding mode control strategy as the most popular controller we see in and we use is PID but sometimes it may not encounter the issue of disturbance rejection so a robust control strategy comes into play and it is a very popular among practical application when system is subjected to external disturbances internal uncertainties then robust control strategy will make sure that the closed loop system is robust and is and reaches and system states reaches to desired value without having any effect of disturbances sliding mode control strategy is based on system states and is responsible for these system states to reach their respective equilibrium point in very less time in this control strategy our external control effort is applied in the form of control input or control force which make sure that these system states reach to the designed sliding surface and remain thereafter which will make sure further that the system state will reach to their respective equilibrium point now i would like to explain this sliding mode control strategy with this diagram in this x2 is a system state x1 is a system state and this line is a sliding surface which is a combination of both system states now this whole sliding mode controller uh, technique is divided into two phases that is reaching phase and sliding phase first is reaching phase first is reaching phase at this a system state x at t naught this is at initial time and x t1 at after certain time this is uh, an external control effort is applied and it will make sure that this system state reaches to uh, sliding surface which is designed and in a very less time this is a reaching phase next is sliding phase which will make sure this system state will remain at the sliding surface only and will finally reach to its equilibrium point these are very uh, these both phases are very crucial for any system state to reach its desired set point now back to designing the smc for that two points are very important firstly our suitable sliding surface uh, because of this sliding surface is mainly responsible for system states and the next part is designing a control effort because this control effort will only drive system states to reach the designed sliding surface now uh, we will see that how a basic structure of sliding surface and basic structure of control input looks like for that uh, we have taken here a linear sliding surface we can see sliding surface is not is generally the function of system states only there is nothing different in it it is a basically the combination of system states uh, combination of the function of system states this sliding surface can be of various uh, combination as it can be of linear term uh, linear that is present here a terminal one when we make uh, x2's power then a fast terminal which is a combination of terminal and linear and a higher order sliding surface we where we take power of the sliding surface and uh, it can be of integral form as well uh, every each of sliding surface has its own advantages its own disadvantages we will further discuss it now to drive the control uh, next part is to design the control effort for that two uh, two parts is been considered for designing a control input for this type of control technique which is u equivalent and ud firstly ud ud is external control effort so it can it is based on sliding surface uh, it it is generally of the form minus k sin s uh, in many researches in like spacecraft in a inverted pendulum a basic uh, control control we take ud 
now for u equivalent uh, we derivate the above design sliding surface which is s and we equate it to zero this x1 and x2 may be uh, may or may not generally they are uh, either of them will have a control input uh, as their part so uh, when we derivate this s function we will get a u and we equate this s dot equals to zero and we will get a u that is a u equivalent and it is also um, very important to design this control effort and also uh, these controller will have some control again that is also a very important rule now for designing now for taking matlab simulink part we will take a, we are taking a random system equation that is x1 dot equals to x2 and x2 dot is the sum function of x1 and x2 plus the control effort and the sliding surface we are here we are taking as a linear sliding surface which is minus c1 x1 minus c2 x2 x1 x2 are the system states and c1 c2 are the sliding sliding surface coefficients we term it as a sliding surface coefficient which can be uh, which here uh, we are taking as a try and gain but we can optimize them also using some optimization methods similarly control input can be given here as we have only taken the u d part it is minus k sin s we are t uh, and here k is also uh, scope for the optimized part here we are taking the sine function of sliding surface which is which is defined when sliding surface is greater than zero then this will result into plus one if as sliding surface is less than zero then it will result into minus one and when sliding surface is equal to zero it will u will be zero that this is how it adds up and finally the outcome it is added so now we will we will take account of matlab similar part in the next coming seconds In our video, we will start modeling simulating diagram for a given system that is x1 dot is equals to x2 and x2 dot is u. We will take integrator block from continuous uh, and we will we'll make we will take two integrators, then we will make a create such subsystem just for the easiness uh, which will be our plan then uh, this control effort which is this control input is basically u which is which is when integrated will give will result in x2 so for x2's initial condition will be minus 2 we have to we are just taking an example and this is x2 and when we integrate x2 we get x1 here and x1's initial condition we take it is as 1 and then uh, this is our system basically uh, just uh, for system states to be plotted we need this output so we have this output uh, is x2 okay. this is x2 this is x1 now uh, we will create our sliding mode controller technique part which is controller for that we will take a source we will create a subsystem for this Okay, this output will be u and will design sliding sliding surface here so we need two output two inputs here which are system states that are x1 and x2 so here we have x1 and x2 x1 system state and x2 as system state so now uh, we first designing a sliding surface 
we have equation that is minus c1x1 and minus c2x2. So this is our sliding surface coefficient that is minus c1 and this is minus c2. We can take, name it as c1 sliding surface coefficient and c2. We can take this value as minus 3 for example and minus 4 for example. Then by adding these values we will get here sliding surface. So here we are getting sliding surface. Now we have sliding surface but we also need uh, but we also need here uh, control effort. So for control effort we uh, need another gain as well as we need a sine function because our control effort is k sin s. So for sine function we can go into math operations and we can take here sine function and we'll pass this sliding surface through this sine function then to the gain then finally we get, we get the output as control effort which here we can write it as control again k. Now uh, just to plot another sliding uh, sliding surface we can take uh, output here as well which is sliding surface here so we have got u as well as s here and for controller technique we can take it as 10 okay. and now we have to make sure uh, when this signal function is used we have to make this block as zero we have to disable zero crossing detection otherwise it will give error sliding mode controller technique now we will uh, we have our system controller technique and we'll just connect these two blocks and then we'll have scope here Scope here. We we have to plot both system states as well as the sliding surface. So we have we have we need two uh, three input ports. So this is x one, this is x two, and finally the sliding surface. So we have all the outputs here. We'll save this and run it and we will run it. Uh, so you can see uh, this is a very simple structure. Uh, this plant and SMC we can use any plant here which can be either DC motor, inverted pendulum or a spacecraft even it can be a spacecraft anything. So uh, we can design any plant or we can control any plant using this sliding mode controller technique and we can also modify this sliding surface as well. Uh, we have taken a very simple sliding surface. We can take an advanced sliding surface as well. So uh, now we have output. We will plot it. So we have output you can see uh, this, uh, this yellow line shows system state that is x1 because its initial condition was 1. We can see that it reaches to 0 within very less seconds and system state x2 that is x2 which is which has initial condition is minus 2 it also reaches to 0. This orange line depicts the sliding surface which is this is reaching phase this is sliding. within very less time. 
so that system states can converge is and this uh, that 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 this uh, basically uh, building block does not have any disturbance so what is the uh, so uh, we have to see that how it how this controller technique will be uh, performing under any disturbances so for that we will make a we'll add just another input here which will be uh, disturbance we'll take a source that can be any random number here um, here we'll take and we have to add it we'll apply random number outside this plant we'll just add this disturbance to uh, as an input So to add this, we have added it. Now we will take a random number as a disturbance. We can take any any source here, any like a Gaussian or a sine function or even a random number, a repeating sequence anything we can take any as a disturbance that act as a disturbance a noise signal so uh, while it is plotting so we have got the results system states reaches to zero within very less time also the system a system state x2 also the sliding surface also reaches to zero but we can see there are a few frequency variations in this sliding surface this is called chattering phenomena which can be removed by using a higher order sliding surface so uh, we can design a suitable sliding surface for a plant which has higher frequency variation like this uh, uh, this is the end of the video uh, we will continue this assembly topic in next videos. Thank you.